All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Kroger. I'm gonna go over the worksheet uh, that we did here. It is practice problem for lesson 5.4, solving equations. You have two basic kinds of equations. You have exponential equations and you have log equations. And the plan's gonna be, um, if it's exponential, we'll make it a log problem so we can solve it. If it's a log problem, we'll make it an exponential problem so we can solve it. And sometimes we have some easy ones. So here we go. Uh, problem number one, well, if I'm trying to find this x, I'm going to divide this or add this 1 over and get 21, then divide the 2 over and get 21 divided by 2. So now I have a spot position where I just have a base and an exponent. So if I take the natural log of both sides, what that allows me to do is bring this exponent down to the front, and now I just have the natural log of this number, and I can divide over that one. So on your calculator, what you're going to want to do is take the natural log and divide it by the natural log of 3. And make sure you close parentheses after this one so these are separate. And the answer is 2.14. Now what you're going to want to do on these problems is take that number, let's store it in our calculator, or write it down. So I have that number stored in there, and I'm going to redo this problem. 2 times 3 raised to the exponent of now that number. If you don't know how to store that number in there, just write that number down, uh, minus 1. And there we go, it's 20. You're going to want to go back and check all of them that way, especially on a test or a quiz or a homework. Um, you're going to want to go through and check all your answers, make sure they're right. And if they're not right, go back, try and find your mistakes. All right, next problem. It is a log problem, so we're going to change it from the world of logs to the world of exponents. And that's what you're doing in this paper. You're going back and forth between the two. So I divided over the seven. Uh, 23 divided by seven is definitely this crazy number, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to keep that in my calculator. And now I have the log base two here. So this is two to this power gives that result. Well, just changed it from the world of logs to the world of exponents. And now I can do that problem. Again, two raised to the 20 23 out of 7 power divided by 0 0.4. Make sure you're using parentheses everywhere you go. And you can store that in your calculator. Test it down here. Add the 1 over, divide by 7, take the natural log, which allows you to bring this down by using the power product or the power property. And now we have ln of e, which is just 1. And now we have ln of this thing. Now be careful, this is the ln of that whole thing. They're not separate. There are cases where they're separate. This is not one of those. All right, on the next one, well, I can, I can take these two logs which are being added, and if I use my rule here, I know that addition can be replaced with multiplication. So now I just multiply these, uh, distribute that in there. And now here's the easy version. I have a log with a base 10, log with a base 10. If the bases are the same, and they're equal, well then the arguments have to be the same. Um, subtract this over, quadratic formula. Can't take a log right here. If I had to log this number, if I had to log, if I had to log a negative number, it's going to give me an error. Can't take the log of a, a negative number. All right, on this problem, it is subtract over 16 divided by four. I have ln of x is equal to four. A lot of people don't know what to do with that. Let me just write that a different way for you because we know a natural log just means I have a base of that number e. So now we're here, well, and what do I do? Well, I'm gonna take this log expression right as an exponent. This is e, and I just remember it by doing an e, that's e to the fourth equals x. Well, hey, I've just solved for x. x is e, whoops, x is e, e to the fourth power. There you have it. And here's, another, here's an easy one to check. Let me show you another way to check this. We're just going to leave that answer on our calculator and go 2 plus 4 ln of the answer that we just received. And there's our 18. Uh, same deal here. Subtract over. Now I'm going to drop this down. And now I have this over here. And look what we have here. We have the log of 12 divided by the log of 6, which is not this one. In this one, the numbers together. In this one, they are two separate things. 
And now what do we do? Well, we minus the 7. We divide by that negative 2 to leave the x. So I have this expression. And I do it in two steps to my calculator. I do the log of 12 divided by the log of 6. Minus 2. Press enter. Divide by negative 2. If you're not going to do it that way, make sure you put parentheses around the numerator. Uh, number 7. It says find x when f of x is 24. Well, f of x is right there, so 24 goes there. Do all your work in reverse, very similar to this one, and find the value. And next one right here, if we have two logs, oh, I can combine them because I know division and subtraction go together. So this subtraction in the world of logs, if I put them together, it's a single division problem. And then I can change this log expression just like we did up here, this log expression goes to an exponential. 16 to the 1 half is this. 16 to the half power. Well, if you don't remember that, you can always check on your calculator. 16 to the half power is a square root. So we square root it, and then we have this. We can cross multiply. 4x equals this. Subtract the x, and x is equal to 1. All right, hope this helps. Again, the key is... Take logs, write them as exponents. Takes exponents, write them as logs. Unless you have a real easy one like this, you don't need to do anything here, but uh, use the one-to-one -one property so they're gone. All right, hope this helps with your homework.